one more day until Halloween. Anyways, if you guys had a stellar day today, and I know you're gonna hate me, you're probably gonna end up giving me a thumbs down, but I actually sold my you guys position today. And you're probably wondering, why would you sell the you guys position today? It's freaking going up like crazy. And then you're probably watching other videos saying, oh, you guys is gonna go to the moon, you guys is going up. Bye, 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 bye. Cold winter, cold, cold's coming, cold. Well, fuck that. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what I think is gonna happen, and you're probably not gonna end up liking it if you're still holding the you guys. But yes, that's right, I think you guys is bearish. And there's multiple reasons why, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you on the charts. So what are we waiting for? Let's get right into the charts and I'll show you why you guys are going to be embarrassed before this guy ends up killing me. Stocks don't go up forever. When they run up hard, they have to cool off. So I'm basically going to tell you what my plan is and where I think you guys is going to start dropping. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not right a lot of the time either. But I'm just not going to sugarcoat things just so you can watch my videos. I already know in advance that this video is probably going to get a lot of thumbs down because I'm saying you guys is going to start dropping. But if I didn't tell you guys what I really thought then what would even be the point of you guys watching this video? Now there's multiple reasons why I think you guys is very bearish right now. Let me zoom in here and we'll get into the first one. So this time frame that we're looking at is the 180 day four hour chart. And today was a very good day for you guys. I was not expecting it to get past 17, but it blew right by it, right? And I think it was in pre-market it did it. All right, so the first bearish diversion that I see, let's look down here at this RSI. Now RSI is a very good indicator to watch. And it basically tells you the future of what might be going on with the stock. But what I see right here is we have a peak from when the stock ran up. Let's see, that was on 1029. And then we have another peak right here that it ran up that was today. And any more I can see that this peak is definitely lower than the first one. So this is the first indicator that tells me that this stock is probably going to end up pulling back pretty hard. And this is normally right most of the time. Whenever you have a higher peak and then a lower one, more often than not, the stock will start to pull back. So the second bearish indicator here for you guys is these gaps right here. When it gapped up, it left a blank area right here. And I talked about this in my last video. And when a stock gaps up and it leaves these gaps here, the technical side of the stock has to fill those gaps. It's just a matter of when it's going to happen. But I see with the RSI and then these gaps, I'm, I think it's going to start to happen very soon. And when it does fill these gaps, it's going to go fast. It's going to dump just like this big red candlestick right here. Who knows? This could happen tomorrow. Could not. Who knows? It could run up again, but it's going to happen eventually sometime. But I think it's going to happen sooner than later. So my game plan, this is what I plan on doing with you guys. I'm going to sit back and watch this thing and see what happens. But I would like to see it fill this gap here. And then it might consolidate a little bit. But then you got a gap down here. So more often than not, the stock fills these gaps. If it ended up filling this gap, you're looking at probably right around 1309. And you're saying, how how could you guys go down to 1309 when it's been running up and winter's coming? Ooh, cold, it's gonna be cold. You guys, it's gonna go up. The stock just has to keep on running. No, the stock doesn't have to keep on running. That's what you have to understand. People think that you guys is gonna run up every year in the winter time and just keep running. And most of the people trading you guys are thinking about what happened last year, but that was a totally different circumstance. Last year, they were really low on storage and that's what drove up the price really hard. Not to mention they had really cold weather. This year, our storage is slap full. And we're going to be having the storage report come out tomorrow and i guarantee it's not going to be that much of a difference and now granted we are going to be having cold weather coming up this week but that cold weather is not going to use up all of that storage you need common sense come on think about it are you guys pissed off yet that i'm talking bad about you guys you want to give me a thumbs down i'm just jocking with you so my plan on buying you guys is going to be right around at, i would probably say at about 1320. that's right i'm looking at getting back into you guys around 1320 and that's going to be my number going into the heart of winter that's my plan so if you're still holding you guys i'm not telling you to sell because it, it could still go up really nobody knows what this stock is going to do but what i am seeing right in front of my face what the technical side of it that i'm looking at right now I'm seeing you guys being very bearish and it has to fill these gaps. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I guess those who really are going to enjoy it are the people that probably sold today. But those of you that are still holding, hey, you, you never know. This thing could run up to 20. As for me, I'm waiting for the, about that 13, 20 mark. I'd like to see the stock fill those gaps. And that's going to be my long position for the winter time. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. And if you haven't hit the thumb down already, please hit the thumbs up. Ooh, everybody tells me on YouTube that you guys is going to go up because cold weather is coming and it's going up so hard right now. It can't drop, can it? Yes, it can. <laughs>